with Dear Lindsay and welcome back to my channel, channel, channel. Um, so in, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button in this corner here and the bell beside it to be notified when I post new videos. I hope you guys are having a great day so far or night, whenever you're watching this. Um, it is gloomy here and it's, you can see it's raining. It's a little chilly, so I have my hoodie on. Um, but it's gloomy, super gloomy, and it's supposed to be gloomy all weekend and all next week. Yay, right? No. So, um, but anyways, squirrel, look at my dry. I drew that. It's a pot of gold with a cloud and a rainbow and the sun. I'm not an artist. That was a bare minimum, so I hope you admire it. <clears throat> anyways. Back to this video. So in this video, I am sharing a Dollar Tree haul with you guys. I went to Dollar Tree for the sole purpose of getting things for sensory bins for Evie, my youngest. She will be one this month of Mar in March. So I wanted to get more learning, hands-on learning supplies for her. So the Dollar Tree is a great place to go to get some of the stuff. Um, but I will also have some of it linked in the description box below. If you don't want to venture out and go to the Dollar Tree. Um, the links in the description below will be affiliate links. So yeah, so let's get started. First thing I went, I needed a bin. So I just got one of these plastic dish tubs. Uh, I decided to go with this because I don't plan to leave any of the sensory bin materials in here like uh, rice and beans and sand i don't plan on leaving it in here so i didn't need a lid um, if you do want to keep the bin together i would suggest getting one with a lid of course but this is just a dish pan of course it was a dollar all of this was a little about 13 dollars um, but the kids added a toy in so um just a little dish bin. And then I went for these specifically, uh, cookie sheets. I got two. These are great for all sorts of fun, hands-on activities. I got them for magnet letters. I have magnet letters on hand so I can make a printable for her. Um, right now, she doesn't need a printable. She can just play with the magnets because pulling them on and off of the cookie sheet will be fun enough for her right now. Um, but I can use it for spelling. That's why I got two. So I can use one for Weston so he can spell words with the magnets. And other fun activities. You can use them for math. You, you can use these for all sorts of different activities. So I got two of these. Okay, and then I got two of these. Play-Doh. I got a pastel Play-Doh and of course it's not normal Play-Doh brand which is okay because um this is just for my toddler so and then I got neon but I got neon and I got pastel. I got these so I mean all three kids will play with it. Um I don't know the quality compared to normal Play-Doh and I haven't made my own yet. I do plan to try to make my own, um, but this will hold us over until I can. Um, so I got two packs of this because it'd be fun for her um, motor skills to um, play with this. Um, this isn't really sensory bin related, but uh, it's spring and I grabbed Bubbles. It's a three set. It can be used as a sensory outdoor play thing I don't know um but I got a little three pack of bubbles <clears throat> also not sensory brand but figured I'd grab them were these little four pack of tissues they have cute little sloths on them but I liked having tissues on hand in my purse so I grab that all right rest of the sensory bin stuff like I said there I didn't grab a lot there, there were a few things I was hoping to find there, but I didn't find. So hopefully I can find them somewhere else. 
Um, this is a 20 pack of ponies. They're just little plastic ponies. Um, I can throw these in the bin with rice or beans and she can search for them. Um, that is my goal. Um, they didn't have, I was looking for farm animals, but they didn't have an, a variety pack. It was either horses or dogs and I wanted to get a variety pack so there's more for her to learn about. Um, and there's not a variety pack, these are just unicorns, ponies, whatever, but that's okay. There's more in here than there was in the other packs. So I got this for her sensory bin so she can find them and play with them in whatever I decide to put in the bin that time. I got feathers. Um, this is great for um, learning different textures. I plan to put these in the sensory bin with rice or beans so she can do textured learning. Uh, you can use, I have pom-poms on hand already, so I didn't buy pom-poms, but I plan to use these with pom-poms. And I'm not sure what else, but these are great to have. And these also double as art project um, or art supplies for different crafts. <laughs> All right, this one I'm pretty excited about because I would have never thought about this, but um, another person wrote about it on a blog post. I can't remember where at, where I found it. But we all know sensory bins can be fairly dirty, especially for the younger kids that don't know how to completely keep everything inside of the bin itself. So my thought was, I'll just do the bins outside. But what if it's a rainy day and you can't bin outside? This, y'all, this. It's a shower curtain liner. It's like a baby tarp on the ground. You put it down. You put your sensory bin on it. You put your baby on it. Boom. Your carpets aren't ruined. What? I would have never thought about that. So I picked up a shower curtain. I just picked up a clear one. Um, apparently it's got magnets on it. Didn't know that. I just grabbed one. But... This is going to be my best friend because I want her to paint. I want her to play with shaving cream. I want her to play with jello. I want her to do all the fun things. And this saves my carpet. It'll save my flooring. It'll make clean up 10 times easier. If you are doing the sensory bin, make sure you grab one of these. And I got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. If you can find it cheaper, I would go that route too. But... This, this is gonna be my best friend with sensory time play. That is all I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, some things I have on hand, I have a 10 pound bag of rice. If you didn't see my grocery haul, it'll be in the card over there. Um, I plan to try to color some rice so that we can have that for our sensory bin. I also plan to buy some noodles and dye those as well, eventually. Um, but right now I think I'm just gonna use the rice since I have it on hand. And I have a bag of black beans too. I'm not sure if I wanna use those yet. Um, if I don't, I plan to go and pick up some beans as well. One thing that I was very sad that I did not find is a baby colander, which is like, it's like this big. It's just a tiny little colander for I honestly don't know what it's for. I want to say babies, but I'm pretty sure that's not what it's used for. Um, but I wanted to try to find a small colander so that she can use it to scoop things up. I mean, I have measuring cups, but a baby colander would be fun for like the rice to like go through the little slot of the little holes. Um, so I'll be on the lookout for one of those. But that is all I picked up for our sensory bin starter kit. Um, so if you like this video, please don't forget to uh, smash that thumbs up button to let me know that you like what I'm throwing out to you guys. Okay. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.